Today, we're back with four boxes to open. We're going to rip two Chronicles draft picks hobby and two Chronicles draft picks first off the line to see which one is a better rip. Try to catch me howling at the That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. What are we doing? This is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever. Had a card show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this play special every day. So. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collect 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, we are back to rip four boxes of the new 2023 Draft Picks football, including two hobby and two first off line. And we talked about this video coming in Friday's video where we ripped four hobby boxes. So if you guys have not seen that, make sure you check the link out down below. We did hit a top QB patch auto, probably one of the best hits I had in all of the boxes I've ripped. So again, make sure you guys check that out. But I think this will be a fun one to understand which one of these might make sense for the price. Uh, the Chronicles draft picks, I think, is currently around right around the $180 price point, where FOTL is somewhere between like $240, 260 range. Um, so I think this will give us a good idea of does it make sense to pay up and get the FOTL, or is the hobby sufficient enough? So without further ado, we're going to get into this. We'll, uh, we'll probably start with a hobby. Then we'll go to FOTL and then back. So, again, I think one of my biggest pieces of criticism around this product so far was it seemed like it was really, really hit or miss. You either got a, a big name, Stroud, Bijan, like we did, or it was guys I hadn't heard of. Um, so, hopefully, uh, we have a little bit more luck in this product. Starting out with a thick one, though. Definitely a thick one here. Looks like we might have an Illusions. I think this is an Illusions RPA. Don't want to spoil the fun. Uh, Josh Allen. You got a Tanner McKee Refractor. That's no different than what we hit with uh, in Friday's break. We hit Tanner McKee. A couple different things. All right, MM. Well, nobody good sounds like MM, so. First impressions. Oh, Michael Mayer. It's Notre Dame's helmet. M.M. Michael Mayer. Yep. All right. So out of the hobby, right off the rip, we've got a Michael Mayer. Got a little condensation on my hands, apparently. It's either a little dry, so I'm surprised by that. 187 out of 199. First impressions, Jersey Auto. Got to watch that guy play at, uh, against Ohio State last year in the horseshoe. He's going to be good. He's definitely going to be good. Ooh, got a, got a gold. little gold classics there. Stroud. All right, Jordan Addison, auto or just like the orange parallel? Yeah, it's one of these like orange parallels, so not numbered, nothing special. Uh, Will Levis might be numbered, and then, ugh, Tank Bigsby. Will Levis, not anything, and then Tank Bigsby, 3 of 10. Well, this is a gold, can't complain too much about getting a gold. All right, Jordan Addison, Hollow, and then uh, Devontae, Clear Vision. All right, so again, nice patch auto so far. Low numbered, not the worst start. We got a Prism auto. Again, I've ripped a few of these. Not a lot of the guys from Prism are typically any good. Most of the Prism autos we had so far were, were less than stellar. I see orange. First thought that comes to mind is Will Shipley from Clemson. He's in the set. Looks like it's just a base auto. It's not color. We'll see. No, Balen Specter. Right team, wrong player. Balen Specter. I definitely did not hit one of those so far. Uh, McCaffrey. More Clemson here. Teal up purple. 36 of 49. Don't mind that. Nice Jackson Classics parallel, and then a Barry Sanders. All right, so we're halfway through the box. T-Law numbered, uh, Clemson Auto, gold out of 10. All right, we got a Auto, more Clemson. That's actually not bad, considering who you can get in this checklist. I will take that. First rounder for the Bengals, Miles Murphy. It's not, not too bad there. All right, a Bryce Young orange parallel. Again, hobby exclusive or hobby parallels. Those are not numbered. Mark Andrews, another gold. Wow, I ripped a lot of Chronicles this year, and I have not hit two golds in any box, I don't think. 
So two so far. Christian McCaffrey, three of ten. Definitely a strong start for Hobby. Will Anderson and Darnell Washington. Let's have two packs left in this box. All right, Will Anderson. Got an Origins Auto, it looks like. Braden Willis. Braden Willis. Not sure. Uh, Dion. There we go. Buckeyes. Nick Bosa. A couple Buckeyes there. Jackson and Nick Bosa. Definitely like that. And then Jameer Gibbs. All right, last pack. This should be a jersey. We haven't hit one, and it's thicker. So this should be our, our mem. It is Xavier Hutchinson. Yikes. Xavier Hutchinson jersey. Hard pass. And then Jalen Hyatt, 1 of 49. Big Ben, Rasheed Rice, and Tank Bigsby. All right. So keep that in mind. That is the first box of Hobby. Now it is time for an FOTL box. So sometimes FOTL parallels can be good. Sometimes they can be underwhelming. But the FOT parallel in this is a card numbered to 11 or 6. Some sort of ice parallel. Cracked ice, green ice. <clears throat> Whatever is in here is super fat. So I figure we got to start with this because this thing is huge. Let's see what it is. It's a jersey. I think it's a Moxie jersey. It is TJ Watt. All right, so FOTL with the jersey. TJ Watt. Probably rather have that than Xavier Hutchinson. Uh, an orange, Jameer Gibbs, Trenton Simpson, uh, Joe Mixon, numbered to 149, Tank Dell, and Josh Downs. All right, so not quite the start we had hoped for, but we still got five packs left, so. See if it gets any better. Jalen Hyatt, Jalen Carter, Jojo du Dumont. Red Ice, kind of a cool little color match, but I don't know anything about Jojo there. Uh, Patty, Patty Mahomes. Not bad. That is solid. Definitely better than the Jalen Hyatt we pulled in the first box. 1049, Bryce Young, purple rookie ticket. Definitely love that. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, Patriots first rounder, and then Jalen Carter. All right, four left, first box. All right, there's our bonus parallel. Now, it appears to be XR, so that's typically not a rookie. It looks like it's got a little brown on it. My guess is Josh Allen. He's in there. I don't know any other teams that have brown colors. Wyoming is brown. LSU? Jay Jettas? Jay Jettas? Jay Jettas? Bang. Bang. Justin Jefferson, 4 out of 11, XR parallel. Probably one of the best non-QBs to get. Non-rookies. So, like that. And then, Michael Wilson, auto. 125 from Stanford. Don't know much. McCaffrey, more Stanford. Uh, Jameer Gibbs and Bryce Young. All right, so our bonus parallel out of 11, which is the FOTL exclusive, was Jay Jettas. So everything else at this point is anything you could get in Hobby. Hendon Hooker. Uh, that's cool. That is 6 of 149. I actually thought it was 5. I thought it was jersey number. It's not. Bijan, Travis Stye. All right, two left here. Bryce. Uh, Parsons. Who? Tay Barber. No idea. That's nice. That's Stroud. That's er, Fields. Field, that's numbered. 19 of 149, Justin Fields, Zach Charbonnet, and Vince Young. All right, last pack for FOTL. Got a gold spectra in the bottom. We got points. I can see the side of it. 400. So, talked about in the beginning, this product is full of points. I ripped uh, quite a bit of this off camera, and th that is very true. It's a rookie and it's gold. This could really make this box really something. Bama. Looks like Jordan Battle. It is, yeah. Seven of ten, Jordan Battle. I think he went to the Bengals. So that's at least a good local team. Jordan Addison and Jalen Carter. All right, so... Way more gold. I've ripped quite a bit, and I have not seen that many gold to start. We hit three in the first two boxes. 
Jay Jetta is out of 11. Michael Mayer auto. What are you guys thinking so far? Feel free to comment down below the halfway point what your uh, what your thoughts are. Is it worth the 75 bucks or so to rip FOTL versus the hobby? Anthony Russo, this guy haunts me. I like four of these in what I ripped so far. Tebow, Devontae out of 149, Jamar Chase. Like a big auto. I've, uh, like I said, ripped quite a few, and I have not hit any Bryce Young. Hit a couple Strouds. Hit one Anthony Richardson. There's Billingsley. Hit a few Bijans. Bijan hasn't been hard to hit. Um, nothing of Levis, and I talked about that originally. I don't think Levis is in it. But Bryce Young is the one guy that continues to escape us. There's more points. There's 250. So more of those. Hendon Hooker, there we go. At a 75. Again, he actually sells pretty well, so that's probably decent. Tank Dell and Tank uh, Bigsby. Three left. Pretty underwhelming box so far, with the highlight being 250 points cards or a Hendon Hooker numbered. Origins Auto. Who? Darrell Luter Jr. Letter Jr. No idea. Bryce Young. Say flowers. Two left. I think the last one's a jersey, so we're going to need something really good for this box to get exciting. That's auto. That's, that's what we want. It's not. It's not. I got really excited. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. Uh, it's an orange parallel, not even numbered. 18 of 49, Jameer Gibbs. Yikes. Well, that means... What was the best card in this box? 250 points? Or a Dak Prescott one-color jersey? That's just Geno Smith is a 101. It's not. It's out of 99. Charles Woodson, Will Levis, Orange, Mayer. Yikes. That box was rough. 250 points. We had that Lutter auto. Man, was that it? That was rough. Jaleel Billingsley. Anthony Russo, yikes. Well, I guess this that would make a strong case for why you might want FOTL with a guaranteed out of 11 parallel. At least you know you got something to look forward to. That was pretty rough. Now, I will say there are three fat packs right there. And considering you get one jersey per box, or should get one jersey per box, that would bode well for some, uh, some patch autos. So... Might as well start with those and just get it out of the way. All right, so something here. So it says JM, and it looks to be blue. That can't be good. It looks like Ole Miss. Who? Who? Jonathan Mingo? Huh? Jonathan Mingo. Uh, Zenith. At a 199. No. Pass. Well, there's our bonus, too. First box. Jordan Addison. Not bad. Two out of six. Rookie. First round, first round wide receiver. Went to the Vikings. Alongside, alongside Jay Jettas. I think he'll be good. I think he'll be good. So that's actually kind of cool. Rookie out of six. Again, would have been the most exciting thing in the first box by quite a bit. Little T-Law parallel from Spectra. Zeke. Joy Porter. All right, well, hopefully there's actually a decent patch auto here. All right, that's gold standard. KM, gold standard. Not Anthony Richardson, not CJ Stroud, not Jackson. TCU, not Quentin Johnson, and it's not Max Duggan. Keandre Miller. Rough. Rough. 199. There's the guy I would have probably wanted, Max Duggan. Will Levis, numbered to 99, parallel, Tillman, and Josh Allen. It should be a jersey. There's a Anthony Richardson, A.T. Perry. I don't even know who that is. Drew Brees, Jordan Addison, 149. All right. Going to need something big here. Really going to need this uh, to end on a bang. Got some sort of parallel. Uh, Will Levis. Would love to know what those are called. 
like a design I've never seen before. Keely Ringo, uh, 149. Anthony Richardson, Phoenix, Silver. Definitely like that. I think the Phoenix is one of my favorite parallels. I wish Panini would have kept some of the, the sets in from last year, though, that they didn't have this year. Um, you know, you look at it, they got the absolute triple patch autos. I was going through kind of what I hit last year. Uh, Contenders Optic, I don't think I've seen that one this year. Um, so a couple sets that have have gone away. I mean, they, I guess they have Contenders, so that would make sense. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of what we hit last year. The absolute ones are the ones I remember the most because we hit quite a few of those. Cool patch autos. Yeah, like John Ridgeway. Man. I don't know who that is. Uh, Josh Downs numbered. Uh, 133 of 149. Brian Breesey and Kayshawn Boyd. Last one. Going to need uh, 101 CJ Stroud or Bryce Young to kind of save the day here. Got an auto from Impeccable. Lance Boykin. All right, interesting. Don't know much about him. Dak, no numbered card in the last pack either. Well, that was a rather uneventful way to end it. <clears throat> CJ Stroud, can't go wrong with those, though. I do enjoy that. So it started a lot better than it probably finished. There we had three golds, first two boxes. Hit the Jay Jettas, Michael Mayer right off the rip. And then we hit some patch autos. We hit another numbered card of Addison. We hit some cool stuff. But you tell me, would you spend the 75 bucks and take the FOTL box at a higher price point, knowing you're guaranteed a card numbered 11 or 6? Or... Are you going to take your, your chances on the Chronicles Draft Picks hobby? No guarantee, but that sub $200 price point. I think for me, I prefer the FOTL. I prefer the guarantee. I prefer to know there's something in there uh, with the same chances to pull patches and autos just like the hobby. So I think I'd rather go FOTL after seeing that. I think the Addison and the Jay Jettas were two of the best four, five hits. So to me, I'm going to lean FOTL, but I could be convinced of either. Let me know down below what you guys think, but... So I got for now, guys. Peace.